sci-fi movies like Blade Runner are no longer fictionals. And guess what? One of the startups recently branded by Felta Studio has introduced a new technology very similar to the one used in the Blade Runner called Luna. And to create and design the perfect logo and the visual identity for this new technology, we need to know as much as possible about it. So question number one that you need to ask is, what is Luna. So Luna is a 3D AI assistant that reinvents the boring and robotic chatbot experience with a more intelligent and human-like experience. Luna is a blend of a contextual AI like ChatGPT and a real-time talking avatar that you can customize and integrate easily within your business. Luna has three major features that makes it unique. She speaks more than 72 language, making her valuable if you have multinational clients. She has a holographic version for display in your storefront, and she's fully customizable as a 3D avatar and contextual AI. After learning about the brand, Question number two is, what are the creative problems that we need to solve in order to create a great logo for this brand? Problem number one is that the Luna logo will compete directly with the famous chatbot icon. Okay, so uh, users when they click on this new logo, this Luna logo, know for sure a 3D avatar will appear when they click. We'll move on to problem number two. Our logo will be displayed on a holographic fan. So we need to take in consideration the bluish aspect of a holographic fan. So our system color must take in consideration uh, that bluish tint that will be appear on every, you know, uh, uh, design we do. And the logo must be bold so it doesn't lose information when put it on a holographic fan. And problem number three is that our logo must be an icon button, okay, that you click on it and change states depending on the face of the AI. Is it listening? Is it talking? Is it thinking? Okay, so it must be an icon button. Also, the iconography system must be consistent with the boldness of the logo and the lines formed. And if you like the mockups used in the Luna identity, I will leave a link below so you can download them. And the last question is how to visually represent these keywords. Fun, crazy, young, fresh, techy, and futuristic. So this is the personality that we want to add to this technology. This is what we are selling, okay? This is our brand, okay, that we want to sell to, to, to our users in the future. It's not about the product or the service or the technology. It's about what people are going to think of themselves when they are using this new technology. So it's fun, crazy, young, fresh, techy and futuristic. So that's why we've chosen a colorful identity with a lot of messy stickers, you know, and uh, some kind of pixel cartoonish gaming styles of 3Ds. And this is actually related to the technology itself, okay? So in order to put it on a website, you actually need to lower, you know, some 3D vectors or something. So it will not be that uh, a hyper realistic version of 3D detailed with textures. It will be uh, a low poly uh, kind of uh, 3D. Also, we used a bold sans serif typeface, it's inter, to convey that modernity and techie vibe because this is the personality of a sans typeface. And by the way, we also developed a specific hologram effect. I will also leave it in the comments to help them like create content, holographic content without the need for the photography set. So we created the PSD file that you can uh, just drop any image on it and it turns to be a holographic of a content, of an image or something. So this is to help them create contents, holographic contents, without the need of all the photography set, etc. So now, after we have the strategic thinking, after we have the logo, after we have the identity, etc., now it's time for launching campaign, okay? For the launching campaign, we wanted a real use case. The perfect use case was with the BH Assurance at the Big Tech event. So Luna was displayed in a big red box, you know, with a holographic fan uh, and shape-shifted to the BH Assurance mascot named Winninty, which is a smartphone. And to cover this event, we teamed up with Bin Arfa Production to shoot and coverage this event. And this is how we launched this new technology. Honestly speaking of the technology, 
not the identity or the branding or while working on it we truly believe that this is the first step towards a futuristic uh, you know form of ai assistant so maybe one day with some tiny improvement in the technology that you cannot tell if is it ai or a human okay so yeah that, that was that was the beauty of this project so that's all my people for today i hope you like this video and feel free to like share and subscribe see you guys on the next video salam